The Second World War started here in Gdańsk on the 1st of September 1939 and it brought an almost complete destruction to the city in March 1945. However, there was a building here that was destroyed by the German Nazis even before the war started, the Great Synagogue. If you've watched the online guided tours of the theater or had a tour here before March 2020, you learned about the fencing school, which was located in this area in the 17th and 18th century. But also another building was put in this area some 100 years later. The Great Synagogue was opened on the 15th of September 1887 on Reitbahnstrasse, now Bogusławskiego Street. It was the largest synagogue in the city, as over 2,000 people could participate in the services. It was built in the Neo-Renaissance style and soon became one of the most distinctive buildings in Gdańsk. It had a large dome, two towers and a lantern that was well visible at night. In the middle of the front row, there was a large stained glass window with the Star of David. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Great Synagogue became one of the most significant centers of the Reform Judaism. A large museum of Judaism contained many old and rare items, particularly the collection of Leser Giudziński, who was an art collector and a merchant from Gdańsk. The services were accompanied by organs and choir singing. Also, many concerts and theater performances were held here. Rabbis and professors from all over the world gave lectures in the Great Synagogue as well. After March 1933, when the local Nazi party won control of the city government, Gdańsk became an increasingly unpleasant place for the Jews. The process of antagonisms and persecutions was getting more and more intense with time. The synagogue had to be guarded by the local militia and the Gdańsk police. The Jewish community leaders decided to save some of the relics. The archives were sent to Jerusalem, the library to Vilnius and the museum to the United States. In the early 1939, the Jewish community was forced to sell the synagogue to the Senate of Gdańsk. On the 15th of April 1939, the last service was held in the Great Synagogue and soon after a banner appeared on the fence surrounding the synagogue. The text on the banner said, Komm, liebe Mai, and mache von Juden uns jetzt frei, which means, come, lovely May, and free us from the Jews. On the 2nd of May, the Nazi-dominated government began demolishing the synagogue. After the German invasion of Poland, Nazi troops moved into the city, eradicating any signs of resistance and claiming the city for Germany. During the Second World War, most of the Jews of Gdańsk died in the Holocaust.